Yo, what's going on guys? Warwick's best item in the whole game right now is Spear of Shojin, just like it is for many other champions. The item is simply too strong, and unlike Black Cleaver, you don't get wasted armor penetration. So Spear of Jin gives pretty much full value, it gives 40% ability haste for your Q and your W, it gives you 30 on your E, and then you'll end up getting 20 on your R. So loads and loads of ability haste. This game, we're up against Diana. I want to invade her. She ran Electrocute. Her laners can't really rotate that quickly. I want to put some pressure on her. You can full clear on Warwick. I've made videos on that. He, his full clear is faster than 330. It's pretty much full health as well. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Uh, but like I said, I want to invade the Diana, so I will not be full clearing. But if you do full clear, you'll end up going two points in your W, get E at level four. But since I'm invading, I'm going to get another point in my... Uh, I'm going to get a point in my E here. We can do Wolf straight into her jungle. Killer on her fifth camp would be the move. Warwick's clear isn't crazy slow, anything like that. Once things are below half health, your W gives you loads of attack speed. And you're you're active on Warwick. Just make sure you're using that in fights while you can. Because once you're in combat <coughs> with a champion, you can't use it. So you want to use it at the very start if possible to get the attack speed and movement speed bonus right off the bat against them, regardless of how much HP they have. We could go for Yasuo here. He's pretty far up. Problem is, Kel's going to be useless. So I don't think I can really kill. All right, here we go. This is going to get messy. She's about to walk into us. We're chilling. We got W down. Auto Q attach. And we got her flash. I'm happy with that. We still have ghost as well. So I think Yasuo is rotating. I need to stall this out. She needs to take the mid turret. Yasuo can't be allowed to do this. He needs to miss a lot of minions for this. Hey buddy, you don't have flash, remember? I'm just gonna queue through, get the fear. Down she goes, thank you very much. She greeted so hard for that. Yasuo missed golden XP as well, I'm hoping. Kill is up a level. Okay, never mind. He basically missed out on two minions. <laughs> we'll play for the scuttle here. Your first back on Warwick, if you can afford Tiamat, that's totally fine. But if you can't afford it, you can pretty much always afford Bombies, which is why I play Sunfire so much on Warwick. It's affordable and incredibly consistent as well. Another point to our W. Auto Q through. He knocked up the Kel. He should have tried to knock me up, I think. All right. We do end up dying from the Ignite and turret shot. It is what it is. We can buy exactly what we wanted to buy. I was expecting to have to go for... Uh, for bombies this game. But since we had enough gold for Tiamat, then that's what you do. Because Tiamat gives you damage. I mean, bombies gives you damage too. But it's not to the same degree. You mainly just do it so you can take your multi-target camps a lot more effective Sivir's staying she wants to push out that wave i don't think i can necessarily kill her she's gonna back off by the time i got there it, just, it wouldn't be worth it she already took scuttle i think so we'll just be patient here in terms of dying there to the Yasuo, it's not great but i did need to spend my gold so it's not the end of the world it's semi-efficient just kind of sucks giving gold to Yasuo. On the bright side, we'll be getting our free boots that much sooner. As a jungler, since you get to interact with champions the most, <coughs> junglers tend to have the highest kill participation on the team. That is a big reason why you go for the free boots. They're faster than boots, so faster and free. We're going to go ahead and smite this. We're farming a little bit more than I would like. Just how it goes sometimes. I'm not seeing a whole lot to gank at the moment. Ganking for Kel's hard. I'm not six. Could go for this Alawi. All right, I could gank it now at that point. She's gonna get him a half health. I could go top or mid right now. And do a lot nice, Kel gets the kill. Big execute by her, he was low on health. 
we go ahead pop w right as she sees us get her with an auto q through fear she used her assault pull at a very bad time she needed to do it from bush once i can see her it makes it a lot easier for me to q through nice we'll get free boots 945 uh, which lane is losing right now? I guess it's bot lane. Let's grab six real quick and go mid. Oh, what are you doing here, Diana? I'm going to hold on to my E for as long as I can. You don't want to use it early because then the enemies will auto Q through. We get her with the fear auto auto into R. I'm going to ghost away since Yasuo is here. I'm about to get slowed by the stupid Alawi garbage though. I wanted to queue through wolves. We'll go this way instead. Nice, nice, nice. We kind of dashed right as Yasuo was dashing. All right, not bad. Yeah, you never want to use your E early because then they'll panic and run. They think they're going to kill you. You say it for as long as possible. Plus, you heal more the lower on health you are. So in a perfect world, you E when you're around 25% health or lower. To maximize your healing. I think she's going to be on her red here. Uh, she might be able to one-shot me if she has all of her abilities up. Got my E on for the electric Q. I'm going to hold on to my Q. Auto Q, auto. Notice how I didn't use my Q early. There's no point. If I'm already in auto attack range, I'm Warwick. I have lethal tempo. I can gut her down with just my autos. I kind of need my E. We'll go ahead and pop W. Got my E on here, auto into Q. I need to keep autoing something here. I had nothing to auto anymore. <coughs> that fight went so bad for us. If the minions were pulled back just a little bit farther for me to be able to auto or Q, that's what would have been able to keep me alive. Could go for Titanic. I want to run the Spear of Shojin though. We have free boots now. Let's play for Dragon. Got a big blood scent on the Nautilus, getting a spot side. They didn't get any plates off of it, so it's not... Like, it could be worse, basically. Could be a lot worse. If I'm going to deal with the Sivir, I need space. My W's on a cooldown. Can she get Yasuo to have health? She does. Perfect. We'll Q through. Auto into R. We had to do it like that because he would end up CCing and getting away from us. So we want to fear, auto him down, and then right as he's about to come out of fear, then we land R. That way we miss nothing. There's no opportunity to miss anything because he's perma CC'd. Go ahead and auto, hold down our Q. The only time you ever don't hold down your Q is when you're trying to avoid turret shots, if you're going to go in for just a bite. But if you hold down your Q over the target, that's how you go through it. It increases the window. Because you can't be displaced while in your Q animation. So you can't be knocked back, knocked in general, hooked. You go through all of that. And you also attach to them. So if they flash or dash, you'll go with them. Getting close to spear, baby. We're right there. I'll have it here in a moment. Whenever your W is up and you can come up behind someone, it's going to be a decent gank on Warwick. But if you don't have W and you're behind them, it's not necessarily going to be good. Because if your teammate doesn't get them below half health, then you won't have movement speed. But if you have your W active, even if they're full health, you'll have the movement speed and attack speed regardless. Electrocute Diana is okay. It, it's kind of Dark Seal mesh reliant though. Ooh, I'm going to ghost for this. Pop W. He's going to greed for this. I'm going to hold on to E for as long as I can. Go for her. I know I said I was going to hold E for as long as I could, but it was clear we didn't need it for damage reduction at that point. Auto Q. I can't body block him because I'm on Ghost. That means I could, I'm just phasing through everything. Got with my Q. I guess not enough of his R animation went off because his R just kind of stopped there. Alright, I need to reset. We're sitting on a Shoujin here. It sucks to back with R. It is what it is. We're really far away from a gank. It's kind of dangerous. Okay, cool. Spear of Shoujin. Their team is very physical damage heavy. We'll push plated. And now at this point, you would go for your Divine Sunder. We have the AoE clear from Tiamat. If you don't have the 1200 for Tiamat and you only have enough for the 1000 bombies, so 200 gold cheaper, that's fine. You'd go bombies. 
Spear of Shojin, you'd have your tier two boots uh, and you'd be fine. So in this case, since we had enough gold, we had Tiamat in the spear instead of Bombies in the spear. And now we can get our Divine Sunder, which gives armor and magic penetration, which is good because Warwick has a lot of <coughs> mixed damage. Allow is full health. Yasuo is not full health though. I have Blood Sun on him. I'll use my W active because I've <coughs> lost the blood scent. Auto into Q and the R. Down he goes. We're not trying to steal these at all, just trying to help her. Got a good blood scent for this. Makes me wonder where Diana's going. She kind of showed mid. I don't think she has anything over here though. That's a weird. Maybe she's going for Harold. I don't know. He also doesn't have TP. I don't really want to show here. We could gank top. Alawi has Merc Treads, no full item. I have Spear of Shojin, a crazy amount of ability haste. My goodness. Yeah. <laughs> 40 ability haste on our Q, 40 on W. Our W is a stupid low cooldown now. The cooldown on it's lower if you're not hunting anything. It's it cool. Does, I think it's like twice as fast. This ability cooldowns, yeah, twice as fast. So it's it's only a 25 second cooldown if I'm not hunting anything. I'll use W early to get into here. You don't normally want to use it this early because it gives away the gank. But since they're doing this, I have no choice. Get with the smite. Auto. Oof. I tried to use my Q on that. Auto in the R. Got it. Beautiful. She can't. Oh, she doesn't win that at all. I have blood scent on her. Got to keep keep close eye on it. I'll go for her red buff. I still see where she's at. Nice. Kel picks it up. Never fight Kel when you're low on health because one of her main abilities is an execute. It does more damage the lower on health you are. It's also an auto reset, so she can quickly hit you with an auto and then... Execute auto reset. It's brutal. That's how Kel gets a lot of kills is because people they're calculating her damage. It's pretty linear. And all of a sudden, wham, she knocks you out. What is this fight? I'll ghost for this. Catch her with the Q. I don't mind taking the wave. As weird as that sounds. <laughs> There's nothing else for me to do right now. I need minions. I'll take. I'm gonna leave my Eon. Oof. Two, three. Turn around, and get her with the Q. Healing so much off of autos there. Holy crap. Thank goodness we have plated for the armor. If we were Merc Treads, we'd probably die there. My R is about to be up, so I don't really want to back. I can still win Dragon Fight like this. Who are we getting this off of? Oh, it's the Diana. Oh, did I? My game just crashed. No way. I lost internet for two minutes, but we can still carry this game. No big deal. Bad internet. We're still set up to win for sure. R's up. Ghost is up. Uh, we didn't die and throw a shot down, so we're still good to go. I think it's just the area of where I live. Even though I'm on fiber, there seems to be a lot of kind of internet downtimes. It's kind of strange. He also shoved up mid. He's one full item. She's one full item. I think I can kill them both since I've plated and I'm and I'm more right. All right, we'll hold on to E for as long as we can. I'll go ahead and just burn the R. No, I ghost him down. Missed my smite. That's okay. Well played from the Kel. She did have R. In my opinion, she should have used it way sooner when I was tanking all three. And was getting below half health. But that's alright. Having her Q with 40 ability haste is so good, man. So good. W 36 second cooldown. If I'm not hunting anyone. Like, let's say I put this on cooldown. And I'm not hunting anyone. It's legit. Gonna be an 18 second cooldown. And it lasts for... 
the active is eight seconds. So if you count the fact that the active is eight seconds, I'll constantly be hunting for like only on a 14 second cooldown, essentially. If that makes sense. Someone's about to walk over here. I'll smite that. Hey, buddy, you missed it. She's a liar, though. She's, she still kind of does well into this. Got her with fear. <laughs> Kel panic art herself. That's hilarious. Yeah, I mean, looking at Alawi's items, she's very similar gold spent to me, and she's one kill. She does have a little bit more CS, though. I mean, the fact that she's one kill, though. One full item tier two partials. I'm all one item tier two, two and partials. Now we have a lot more gold spent than her. From here on board, you can build just about anything. I think it's best to build for kind of more towards health if you're the primary frontline on your team. If you're not the primary frontline, then you can get away with Bort. Titanic's really good for us to stay alive. If we can stay alive just a few seconds longer, our Q's back up, our E's back up, we can absolutely dominate and carry the fight. Now, if they had a turbo tank, like a big HP tank, then uh, I don't know. I would say that Bork's fine, but like I said, I am one of the primary front lines for my team. That's a double fear, auto into R. This dude's perma CC'd on full stack lethal tempo, auto into Q reset, get the attachment on his flash, smite the server for the slow. She's got red buff slows on her as well here. Can't really keep up. We'll turn around. Auto in the queue. We, oh, didn't quite get the fear. She's on ghost. She's moving really, really quick. Off the turn for this guy. I might have overchased a little bit there. Auto, auto, Q. Oh, yeah. They got quite a bit out of that fight. They really did. We could probably Baron, actually, if Kel came. I can tank at hardcore mode. Perma heal off my autos and Q. I can even damage reduction with E if need be. These guys are definitely going to FF, man. Our late game is better than theirs with the Kel. Oh, he had R. Kel had R. All right. I can magic missile this. Ooh. <laughs> That's the double fear. I had to avenge my- Whoa! Alright. Alawi is a very cool and balanced character. That's all you need to know. So yeah, basically our W's maxed out. We're getting a crap load of movement speed. The 55% bonus movement speed was increased by 250% since he was turbo low on health. And um, I also ghosted, so my R could reach pretty much two screens away. Oh, and they got Dragon Bounty. Wow. They're kind of coming back. Well, I got a thousand gold from <coughs> killing me. And then they get 600 gold as a team for taking dragon. Kind of silly. Instead of going for this, I'd rather have Randuins actually. They're very crit heavy. Two crit champs, easy Randuins angle. It's the Yasuo <coughs> and the Sivir, of course. And then uh, allow you to doing a lot of physical damage as well, so. I'm happy with Randuins. A couple patches back, it got buffed as well. They shaved off some of the gold price. See my W range? Not yet. I need vision of him. Yeah, he doesn't have TP. Good luck for him here. Got the speed up on it. I'll go this way. Whatever. Hey, buddy. Close fight. Possibly worth for him. He just hit his 1 in 10 power spike off that. We're about to be in big trouble. <laughs> it's actually not a meme. Because basically the amount of time it takes to die 10 or 15 times. He'll build up so much gold passively. From just playing the game. That he becomes power spiked. He's getting to that point. From here, it'd probably be a Titanic. Uh, could go for a Bork. You don't usually go Black Cleaver on Bork because the armor penetration is somewhat... Uh, it's just not efficient enough. 
It's not that it's not good. It's just that there's better options. Oh, this is bad. I shouldn't have hit that. She's beating the crap out of Syndra's soul. Sivir just killed Cal. That's terrible for us. We should probably stay away from a fight while Kel's dead. She's one of the most fed players on our team. This is a really, really bad Baron call. They're all in the area. We're going to take it super slow with an MF. And uh, Syndra's like almost dead. Oh, nice. They killed her. And that's pretty good. All blood sent onto him with my W. Nice little Rakan knockup. Syndra stun. R on the Diana and the Q. If you hold down your Q while you're in the middle of your R on them, even if they flash immediately after your R, you still get the Q attachment. It also is on the split. Yeah, we should go for Baron now. Three of them dead, one bot. Now it's a good call. You don't want to have to overcommit for Baron and have them all come up behind you, though. Ideally, Rakan... <coughs> Rakan should tank. Whoever is tanking Baron directly does half damage. We'll take it much faster with him tanking. Now we get double attack speed. 110% bonus. Very cool. The bonuses are for when enemies are below half health. And then the bonuses nearly triple when they're below 20% health. That's partly why you want to go for lethal tempo. That way you don't attack speed overfill. Very easy to attack speed overfill on Warwick. Kel has no R. She's dead. Yeah. Huge allow outplay there. Q through. That's a double fear. I can't move, bro. I legit can't move. CC'd for 3.18. Uh, ignited. That's rough. I'm going Zanyas. I don't even... We have to. I can put Nautilus R on cooldown and it won't hit me. I can dodge the Yasuo Tornado, the Alawi Soul Pull, and Warwick does have some AP scaling as well. We need to just group up and not split push, I think. They're too hard to get away from. If Nautilus has R, if he hits his Q, uh, I mean, the Sivir R, they're very stable. Sticky and very pick heavy. Our team is more immobile. With uh, like we don't have a lot of dashes. It's basically just for con dash and my R. They can block my R though. If they're close behind me or if they're just in front of me, I can't get away. I was trying to R to the plant and then get away. Because you're unstoppable in midair, you can't be CC'd. I just got perma CC chain and couldn't really move there. Nice little pull by the Syndra. Just gotta remember to use my stopwatch. I'll use it to dodge life ending CC or potentially life ending CC. You'd rather not. Oh, they're gonna get bounty. I hate that so much. They should have. Be, they should have to be the ones to hit the turret to get the bounty. They, it shouldn't just be a stray minion wave finishing a turret. That that was very minimal risk. You just pushed the wave left and then they got the sweet sweet premium reward for ultra low risk they're not even behind in gold anymore like mf's the only one on our team with a bounty so don't let the kills fool you their gold spend is almost identical to our team we're probably up like 1500 gold on them as a team right now 1500 or maybe 2500 at most I'll ghost for this. Want to get to the Sivir. We're going to go on Q through. Get her with the fear. Slow with the Randuins. She's going to kite me out. Rakan randomly flashes forward. and Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Flash forward like 300 health to hit her with uh, basically an auto attack. Spicy. A 
Oof, couldn't get the Q attachment. We need to leave, we need to leave. Oh no. Dude, that's brutal. We lost the minions, Kel overstays. She tries to finish the kill. It happens. I can finish my Titanic from here. I still have my stopwatch. Gotta go. There's not even a bounty on my head anymore. So look, look, look. Diana, uh, she has three full items, tier two boots. I have three full items, tier two boots. Like, that's what I'm saying. The kills don't matter much, because if you die when you have a bounty, they're back in it. Four item Sivir, three, uh, four item Kel. There's no real difference in gold spent right now. Nautilus being way out of position, and we can most likely just end the game off this. Blood sent onto the Diana, she's closest to me. Auto and a Q attached, that's a double fear. And that's rough. Somehow Diana did a quadra there. That is rough, rough, rough. 1500, 1100. I guess I wasn't even full health in that fight. I also feared kind of early, so I didn't get much value from the damage reduction portion. Kel goes in. She needs to focus down the Sivir first. She kites it like a beast. Beautiful. Well played. It's super solid. Riftmaker's given her some decent value. I haven't. I'm not a big fan of Riftmaker personally on Kel. She's getting good value. I prefer to play Kel with Bort because it's so much better early. You're less reliant on your teammates to carry the early game to build that tempo. The enemy AD carry is one of the biggest threats to you as a Warwick in the late game. Because you have enough healing to sustain through all the support damage, tank damage, and a lot of bruiser damage. But the AD carry penetration big crit hits that's what kills warwick really we need to just end i'm gonna ghost here cal doing cal things and that's it i didn't even get to play in the last team fight feels sad man Our minions aren't doing minion things. Poosh. Okay, we got the wave, and that's game. That was fun, man. All in all, Warwick, still an early mid-game champion. Late game, if the enemy AD carry has, basically full build, which she does. You're going to be somewhat at the mercy of that. So in late game team fights, we need to get more value from holding our E rather than using it early for the fear necessary necessarily let's look at the graphs looking at damage dealt to enemy champions we were certainly not the highest in the game part of it is just the dc we lost a lot of tempo from being out of the game for two and a half minutes or so another part of it is in the team fights we didn't necessarily get to participate in the last two that much but all in all still decent damage damage taken most in the game self-mitigated uh almost the most in the game we were second by 200 damage so if you count damage taken though so literally we took the most damage and almost self mitigate the the most and if you combine them we still took the most for runes high value all in all warwick with spear shojin is an absolute blast highly recommend it whether it's bombies in the shojin or team at in the shojin it doesn't matter that much uh as long as you get shojin after you have your aoe clear style item into divine that is the core of the build everything else is ultimately situational after that point for this setup if you guys enjoyed this warwick video don't forget to like comment and subscribe it helps out a lot my name is king sticks thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time